Welcome to the Exercising Depression podcast and YouTube channel. My name is Claire, your host, and today we're going to be talking, well, I think you could probably guess, <laughs> we're going to be talking about isolation, the lockdown and mental health. So I touched on this a little bit last week about um, isolation, uh, quarantine and um, mental health, my mental health specifically, um, and how I think I'm going to cope with it. Now, since last week, um, we have actually officially been declared on lockdown here in the UK, so that means um, even less reasons to be going outside uh, and leaving your home. Um, I've done a blog post about this um, to accompany this blog and podcast um, it's actually it was um, published yesterday so um, it's already up so if you want to go check that out um, this is the accompanying blog um, vlog and podcast episode um, and basically I'm just going to talk about how I am dealing with this at the moment uh, and things I'm doing to cope with you know, losing things like the gym, uh, working from home, that kind of thing. Um, I think this one's going to be a little bit shorter than they usually are because what I'm planning on doing is turning this podcast slash vlog um, into a bi-weekly rather than a weekly. So usually I upload on a Friday and that is podcast and vlog and blog. Um, but because... Um, well, just because we're all in lockdown, <laughs> I thought I might do it bi-weekly. So I've not picked what day, what extra day I'm going to be doing just yet. I have to work it around my, um, my work. Um, but yes, from now on, from this week, this will be the last week that it's just one uh, one upload. Uh, you can look forward to two, hopefully, fingers crossed, if I manage to get it done. Um, I really want to. It's um, not only it'll be something for you guys to be able to use, hopefully, uh, in your isolation, but it was something I'll be able to do. Uh, and hopefully that'll just help me, you know, feel a little bit better about sort of being stuck indoors and not being able to go to the gym and things. So the blog post I put up yesterday was um, called, sorry, I'm going to have to look at it. <laughs> it was called Isolation and Depression, How to Cope. Uh, and basically it's just a list of things um, that I'm doing to cope with this isolation and this lockdown um, and hopefully it is useful to you guys as well. Um, I'll not go too much into it because obviously you guys can go to the blog and read that. Um, I don't know if I've actually mentioned the blog on any of these just yet, maybe I have. I'll mention it just a little bit now anyway. <laughs> um, basically the idea of the blog is um, to be a post that accompanies the podcast and the vlogs and it'll be less sort of um, copying the subject matter, like word for word, what, go on, what goes on in the podcast and the vlogs, but um, it'll be more of a reflection uh, and maybe some additional thoughts um, on the subject matter of each episode, um, just because I don't want it to get too samey samey, obviously I want people to use the vlogs and the blog, or the podcast and the, and the blog um, together, uh, and hopefully it's like it makes it more of a well-rounded experience. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, I very much enjoyed writing blogs um, though unfortunately the, the one that got published yesterday took me almost, almost five days to write so I'm going to have to like kick myself up the bum a little bit if I'm going to be doing that by weekly <laughs> or maybe I'll just do that once a week I don't know I'm not figuring it all out anyway so oh, it's the subject matter um, yeah we're still you know this is Friday of the first week of of lockdown here in the UK and um, this is going to be on for at least three weeks I'm certain of it I think at least three up to 12 maybe even a little bit longer um, so this week has actually not been that bad um, and I've said a lot of people online have said that um, they've really appreciated sort of being at home and they've been really productive and their mental health has uh, been given a bit of a break um, it helps that the weather is absolutely beautiful at the moment here in the UK and um, we're very much into spring now and it's just glorious uh, and I think that's and I think that's really helped people's moods it certainly helps mine um, so we'll see if the weather turns how that will affect people um, and as you know as, as long as this is this going to go on it might it might get worse for people you just don't know um, but for me this week's not been too bad it's, I've had a little bit of work stress but uh, nothing um, nothing too bad I don't think um, so yeah, so what, 
what have I been doing? Well, I've lost going to the gym, which I'm really gutted about. Um, but my husband and I have actually been doing boot camps outside. Uh, in our garden we're quite lucky we've got quite a big garden and we've got a field next to our house that we own so we are actually able to exercise outside um, so two times we've done two like do done outside boot camp which includes like running and then um, other things like you know planks sit-ups press-ups um, that kind of thing there's a word for it but I can't remember what it's called calisthenics is that what it's called I hope so <laughs> uh, and then uh, yesterday I did a little bit of weight training with some hen feed, which was really funny. Um, I don't know if I'll do that too much because um, it's not designed to be used as weights, so it might do some damage. So it's not bad for light weight training, but not for anything serious, unfortunately. Um, and today, actually, um, I'm going to go on a bike ride because the, the weather said, said the weather's beautiful. Um, my husband is doing an online class today at about two-ish, um, I say today, today's Thursday, um, this is going to be going out Friday, so yeah, sorry to confuse you. <laughs> um, I'm on a bike ride, uh, so that'd be nice, and uh, hopefully the trainer that we usually have who does boot camp will be doing online boot camps as well, um, using Zoom, not sure how that's going to be working, um, but we'll see how that goes, I guess I'll let you guys know once that, once that happens. Um, I know that he's already done a couple of a couple of uh, um, online courses uh, classes already, and he said it's really good. So yeah, um, so we'll see we'll see how the gym thing goes. It's not quite as intense as I'm used to, um, but and I haven't got any like gym equipment. It's really annoying. I've got I've got two very small weights that are like 1.5 kilos, um, which is tiny, and I've got a, a yoga ball. That's, that's it, I haven't got anything else, so and I really wanted to get some equipment, but normally went to Argos last week, um, there was nothing left, <laughs> so we'll just have to see, I'll see if I can get something online or something, so I can't do a lot of the things that I want to do because um, I don't have the equipment, but we'll see, maybe I'll take it running. <laughs> um, other things, um, Saturdays, I may have mentioned this before in vlogs or in our podcasts, that on Saturdays, my husband and I we go on go to one of the local pubs on Saturday afternoon, uh, sort of late afternoon, early evening, to about half past five. Um, we stay out for a couple of hours, have a couple of drinks, uh, and oh, we just love it. It's just so nice to sort of get out of the house and just be me and him and have a couple of drinks, have a laugh, uh, you know, just catch up. And uh, we've lost that because obviously all the pubs and, and bars and things are shut now. Um, which is really good to that because it's, it's something I treasured so much and something I look forward to all week um, that so we've lost that but uh, last Saturday, as in the last Saturday just gone um, we, had, we had kind of a little bit of brainstorm and um, we have a summer house in the garden which is like a, an outside like seating area it's like, a, it's like a fancy shed with chairs in it <laughs> um, and even though it was quite it was a little bit cold because obviously we're still in March um, we took a couple of beers that we bought from the shop and uh, sat in there with, with some blankets and sat there for an hour and a half and had a couple of drinks and that was really fun actually. Um, wasn't quite the same as obviously going to the pub, uh, less of the social element to it, which is again, it's just actually something I really enjoy about going to the pub. Um, but we got the same out of like we got to sit somewhere that was just me and him, have a couple of drinks, go a bit silly and you know, laugh and talk about things. And, so that was really good, so I think we're probably going to continue that and as the weather seems to keep on proving, on proving, improving, <laughs> maybe we'll move outside a bit more, we've got a picnic bench in the field next to our house, um, sit there on a nice day or sit on the patio or that kind of thing. We, we started off having a drink, having a couple of beers in the living room with, while watching something but while we, because we were sat watching something we weren't really talking and it wasn't really the same so. So if you guys do something like that, like I've mentioned this in the blog post, if you meet up with friends or family or whatever, 
um, usually on a regular basis, um, try doing something like that, especially if it's someone who lives in your house with you, obviously. Um, yeah, don't go fraternising with people too much because that's ill-advised at the moment. Um, but try taking an alfresco, or oh, you can even do it online actually. I've um, been chatting briefly with two of my friends uh, yesterday. And we were thinking of trying to have a Zoom like call all together on maybe Saturday. Not quite worked out the details just yet. And then um, having a glass of wine with my friends. So it's like an online pub. Um, my sister-in-law, Felicity, has already done this with some of her uh, friends or colleagues. I can't quite remember. But she's done the online pub thing, and uh, she seemed to really enjoy that. So I think a lot of people are doing that. So if you know, if you are, especially if you're by yourself. Um, you know, I'm lucky I'm in a house with five people, you know, I'm very lucky, but there are people, like my mum, and my mum by herself, and I hate that. Um, um, and she, she could talk to my dad, like, a lot of the day, because he's working from home now, he lives abroad, um, so they can Skype and stuff, um, but she's on her own, and so, you know, I mean, hopefully, fingers crossed, my sisters and I, I'm a mom, I'm possibly my dad if, he, if he's able to. I'm probably going to do the same thing one night, maybe. Um, have an online pub, um, have a couple of drinks, and you know, just have a laugh with each other. So that should be good. Um, let, again, I'll let you guys know how that goes because I'm not sure what's happening with that. So yeah, I'll let you know. Um, done the gym, done that. Just working from home now, this is like a massive reality for most people. Um, so, like most people who can work from home at the moment are, are being told to, they have to work from home. So if you've got a job that can be done from, from home, uh, you have to do it. The only reason you're going to going out to go to work is if you're a key worker, so like nurses, doctors, care staff, um, volunteers in hospices, delivery drivers, um, so teachers for I won't go to the list because I don't know them all, but if you're a key worker you have to you also have to go into work obviously. Um that noise is the cat getting on her last seat. She's here, as, as always. <laughs> um, but working from home has become a reality for a lot of people and I'm I'm really lucky because I work from home anyway, so that hasn't been a big issue for me. Um nothing's changed. Uh, and the work I do is consumed online. So my pay won't change. Um, my work won't change. Um, scheduling, I have to do a bit more because my husband is doing live lessons on the days I usually film, so um, you know, it, it's doable. It's doable. Um, but if you are having to work from home, uh, again, especially if you live by yourself, it's going to be quite isolating. Um, and if you're not used to having to work from home, um, you know, scheduling and stuff can be really hard. Again, isolation, procrastination is going to be a huge thing, I think. Um, I mean, I work from home anyway, <clears throat> but I still have a problem with procrastination. My Xbox One is just in the living room near my studio, my study. <laughs> so, um, but I think it's important for people if you are working from home <clears throat> to like the really important thing is to have a schedule uh, and to remain on that schedule. Um, you know, structure your day like you would if you were at work. Um, sounds like a pain, but it like procrastination is like the worst thing for productivity, uh, and so is directionlessness. Um, you know, if you have certain projects that need to get done, if you've got deadlines, if you've got meetings, you know, if you're rushing around and not knowing what to do, or you've been fanning around on your iPad, or you've been, you know, watching YouTube videos or something, um, you know, it's like you've been, you're only going to damage yourself, unfortunately. Um, so structure and schedule is a really good uh, thing to get into very early on. Um, I have my schedule, I have my structure of my day and I stick to it. Um, I've been a bit more flexible with it because um, with everyone being in the house, um, everyone else has things that they're doing and you know, if I do, because it's such a lovely day, if I want to go outside and spend half an hour you know, talking with my hens, um, I will. Because um, my work's quite flexible. I have deadlines, um, but I know the deadlines and I always work to them, so um, yeah. But saying all that, like taking breaks is really important as well. Uh, make sure that you're taking breaks uh, when you need them. Um, 
you know you should you should be giving yourself like an hour for lunch if you can um, and 15 minute breaks for tea coffee going for a, just going outside getting a bit of fresh air every couple of hours or whatever um, because if you chain yourself to your desk uh, and sit there all day it's not you're gonna go a bit stir crazy believe me uh, when I first started working from home um, I found it very difficult to not be sat at my computer all day um, as in like 9 up to like you know, 7, 8 at night um, and now I have a very strict schedule with myself um, I say very strict, it's not very strict, in fact it's really not but I tend to like to work sort of from 9 to about 3 um, if I go over, I go over, no biggie but, um, uh, and I have breaks, um, I don't eat lunch because um, I mentioned before on the podcast my husband and I do OMAS but um, I don't have a lunch break, but around lunch time I'll go and make myself a cup, cup of coffee or something and I'll sit and play a couple of games on my iPad or I'll go outside if the weather's nice or um, or sometimes like, you know, I'll even, if my mum's finished work, I'll go to the gym. Um, obviously you can't do that at the moment. <laughs> um, but yeah, just make sure you give yourself plenty of breaks. Um, I certainly do. Um, and yeah, especially if you're by yourself, if there's someone that you can call up to talk to just for 10 15 minutes um i know my sister calls me most days um uh, seems like reddit i can't believe i've just said that but um because reddit can be a bit of a trash place unfortunately <laughs> but um there are subreddits you know dedicated to making friends uh, being lonely you know mental health issues there are live discussions on there for people like uh, i've been a part of a couple of live discussions of make friends um you know there are people you can reach out to people um, and talk to them uh, there's millions of people online that you can talk to and, um, and I know uh, like I, said, I know this is easier said than done there are people here who don't, who don't have internet I mean you won't be listening to this if you don't have internet <laughs> but there are, there are people who don't have internet, don't have friends don't have people, don't have friend, family and that kind of thing and that's going to be very difficult for them and I can only imagine how hard that would be I'm very lucky uh, my work doesn't change, my pay doesn't change my income, my household income doesn't change. I live with people. Um, I talk to my family quite often, um, like every day. My, my, I have family all over the place. Uh, and I talk to them most days. Um, and so yeah, I am, I am really lucky. Uh, and that's been a real help for me in all of this. And again, actually on to sort of the reason why this is all happening. Um, that in itself is quite scary. Uh, and, that, and you can't deny that. Um, I live with someone who, uh, my father in law is, di- is type 1 diabetic, so he's very high, he's high risk, so I worry about, um, about bringing something back if I go out. Um, I, you know, my, my husband and I do our weekly shop on Mondays, and I don't know, it might be that only just one of us goes and does it, I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to have to see, but like, the thought of bringing it home scares me because if he got sick he'd get very sick and that's not great I'm, I'm frightened about my mum getting it um, she, she's perfectly fit and healthy and um, she's in the mid 50s she's very active she's you know great and stuff but you just don't know how things are going to affect people and if she got sick there's no one there to, to care for her so I think if she did get sick I'd, I'd go and go with Joe, go to my mum's and, and stay there for a couple of weeks, I think. So, touch wood, um, that's not going to happen. Um, yeah, so I, I'm quite, I'm very worried at the moment about that. I'm going out for about a bike ride right today, like I said, so I'm just not going to see anybody, so that should be okay, but going out for our shops on Mondays, it worries me. I'm scared, like we all are. Um, I think last week I was feeling a lot more stressed about all this, um, just in general, like the whole thing and the isolation. This week's been a bit better, but uh, like I said, I'll be doing this bi-weekly, hopefully, uh, if you guys, guys don't get sick of it, <laughs> um, sick of listening to me talk, but um, I guess we'll just see how how the weeks go. Um, I still have my medication, which is great, uh, I have plenty of that at the moment. Um, Pharmacies, I, I, I assume, are staying open, or they have to, don't they? Um, pharmacies are staying open, so I'll still be able to get my medication. I did briefly worry that um, 
that if it was complete and utter lockdown that we wouldn't have pharmacies so I wouldn't be able to get on medication and that would have been the worst thing because I can't not be medicated <laughs> otherwise my life is a living hell um, mental health wise I'm not doing that bad at the moment I have a, a very grim um, prediction that it may get worse as this goes on but I guess we just have to see, like, I'm lucky, like I said, I've got my husband here who is brilliant with me and my mental health and he's one of my biggest supporters alongside my family and my mum and, and everything. Um, the family thing um, that's been bothering me is still weighing on me quite heavily at the moment and I don't really know what to do about it. But that's got nothing to do with this and I, I can't really talk about it anyway. Um, but I'm trying to think about it in my heart sinks and it hurts a bit thinking about it um, so I won't I'll try not to anyway um, yeah I think with this being bi-weekly I think these episodes are going to end up being quite short ones unfortunately I know a lot of people seem to really enjoy the longer ones um, I certainly do uh, I enjoy doing them but we'll, we'll see we'll just see what happens there might be two long ones might be two short ones we don't know we'll just have to see what happens I would really appreciate it if you guys did give me a bit of feedback on that um, you know, in a couple of weeks. Let me know how you think, whether you preferred it, just one, once a week. Uh, let me know how, what you think about the blog. Um, I'm really proud of it, <laughs> in a way, in a way. Um, and it's such a good creative outlet for me. I love writing. Um, I had someone get in contact with me uh, last week. She, uh, she emailed. Uh, I haven't asked her if I can use her name, so I won't, um, but she emailed me um, saying that my podcast, podcast was helping me feel a little bit less alone. Um, I haven't heard back from her yet, so I hope you're doing okay. Um, do get get back in contact with me if you want, um, I always hate to talk. Um, so, yeah, um, I'd also really appreciate if you guys would, if you're listening to me on Apple, or anywhere that you can leave reviews if you give me a review. Um, five stars if you, if you feel like it deserves it and I only say that because the more higher ratings I get the more discoverable this podcast is and hopefully other people will find it and it'll help other people hopefully. Um, again I do have one from a guy called Ryan and I, I can't find it again so once I do find it I will read it out because it was brilliant. Um, so thank you for that. I'll leave all, all this um, contact information and stuff in the uh, description box below of the vlogs and of the podcast episode and in both description boxes I'll leave a link to the blog as well so go ahead and check that out if you can, if you want, uh, let me know what you think. Um, I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> um, and yeah, I guess that's all I have to say this week. Um, I still haven't decided what day yet I'm going to do another episode, it might be like a Wednesday or a Tuesday, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing okay. Like I said, please do feel free to get in contact with me if you're struggling, uh, I'm here to talk. You can email me, I have an email address, uh, exercisingdepression at gmail.com. I'm on social medias, I'm on Instagram, um, Twitter. I do have a Facebook page but I'm never on it because I don't like Facebook. <laughs> um, but like I said, I'll leave it on the description below. Um, so yeah, thanks for listening and watching and reading my blog if you are doing uh, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.